Previously on NYPD Blue. Anyways, we got the ME testing for DNA off any semen. Also found a crack pipe in the room. Smoking crack? That's maybe what they were fighting about. Let me know. This guy's gonna tell us how to run a case. Don't you think anything the boss throws out there is just him trying to help out? I think him helping out would be keeping his mouth shut. Got dinner plans? Let me get back to you. At your leisure, detective. Hey, Michelle, it's 8 o'clock. I'll see you there. But I think they're postponing the inevitable at the cost of a lot of suffering for Bobby. I don't want him to suffer. It's okay. I just wanted to help him. You can. Tell Dr. Swan what you've decided, and then ease Bobby's <laughs> mind. I'm not asking you to stay tonight. I'm asking you to stay, not as Theo's babysitter or housekeeper, but as a part of this family, a real family. This is what you really want? Yeah, this is what I want. He pulled up, took about two steps, and collapsed. He couldn't breathe. Did he say anything? I'm a cop, I'm a cop, and call my partner. He said anything about who did it? I'm a cop, call my partner. That's it. I've been telling him not to work so much. Is that what he was doing? Moonlighting. But we're OK with money, I keep telling him. But it's just work, work, work. Where was he moonlighting? I don't know. It changes. OK. So you both worked at 4 to 12, and then you went to your second job? Right. What's the job? Uh, after hours club down in the West Village. I run security. Um, they serve booze, so if you don't have to put it down on paper, I'd appreciate it. You both work in Harlem? Right. And Mike lives where? Bay Ridge. So what was he doing over on the Lower East Side instead of going through the tunnel after leaving this club? Maybe taking one of the bridges to save the toll? Looks like uh, the boat went through the seat cushion. Crime scene's getting out of the floorboard. And we found his gun and shield under the seat. Okay, we got him patched up. It looks like he's stable. Detective Saunders, this is my partner, Andy Sipowitz. We're from the 15th Precinct. Tried the carjacking. Latino, 20s, shaved head. You return fire? Came right out of my blind spot. You always keep your gun and shield under the seat. I picked it up from one of my old partners. He'd stash it under the seat. He said, leave the job behind before you go home. What were you doing on the Lower East Side? This is 24-hour diner I like over on 2nd Avenue. Is Burgess my partner here? He's right outside. Tell him to come in, will you? Your wife's out there, too. She is? Well, bring her in. Anything else you want to tell us? I told you all I know. He's OK? Yeah, why don't you get his wife? Grace? Six a.m. on the Lower East Side with his gun and shield under the seat. Maybe it was a stupid habit he picked up from his old partner. Yeah, that's it. We got a stick up at a bodega over on Broom. Jones is up. Give him Greg on the way back. You can catch him on the radio. 911 operator transferred a call from a woman said she had information on your shot cop. She's on her way up. Did she elaborate? John? Yeah, she didn't. Uh, she was very agitated, though. What did you guys get? Any news on your shot cop? Carjacking. That's what he's saying. Any reason not to believe him? 
No reason not to. Except he had his gun and shield under the seat, and that brought back some memories for Andy. I'm just saying a guy got his gun and shield under his seat, he's up to no good. But we'll go with the carjacking. What do we know about this cop, Domenicelli? Anything? Been in uniform 18 years up at the 3-4. Guys don't usually last 10 in that neighborhood without burning out. And his sergeant says he prefers working 4 to 12. Drinking man shift. Owner Amador, I called about the shooting. I'm Detective Russell. You have information? You're damn right I do. Come on in here. Carjacking. Uh-huh. It was Dario. That son of a bitch. He said he would do it. And screw him. He's gonna pay. Who's Dario? My ex. Screw him. How's Mike? He's gonna live, right? Yeah, he'll make it. How do you know Mike? I'm his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, I know he's married, so don't even start. So, how long you been going out? <sighs> Two years, June. We got a six-month-old boy, Dylan. And Mike's wife? She doesn't know. Mike's waiting for their kids to finish school. He is, huh? Look, we gotta quit wasting time and find Dario. And let me know the expression on his ugly face when you let him know I gave him up. Dario said he was gonna kill Mike. <sighs> I'll kill that fool. I don't care who he is. Was Mike with you last night? Yeah. When did he leave? About 4 a.m. We got in a stupid fight over nothing. He was in one of his moods, you know? Did Mike ever meet Dario, see a picture of him? I protected Mike from that asshole. So he wouldn't know it's Dario who was his shooter? No. All right, we'll look into this. I gotta see Mike. Is his wife still at the hospital? She sure is. <sighs> Can you tell him to call me? We'll pass something along. Okay. Dario? Yeah, we got it. I know this guy, I know his whole family. Great people, worse luck. They get robbed like they're on a schedule. Who's got this? Over there. I know Grady's still in the academy. The owner working alone? Um... Demetrius Demopoulos. He alternates with his oldest son. The last time they got held up, they pistol whipped the wife, which is why she don't work here no more. Uh, two guys came in, uh, male blacks. One standing at the door, the other making like he's buying beer. Pulls a gun. All right, so the one at the counter's on. How about the one on the door? Uh, I can't find I, I don't think the owner said anything. No, he said he saw only one gun. The guy at the counter. So the owner empties the register. The perpetrator reaches for the money. The owner pulls his own gun from under the counter. The Thermopolis got a gun? Uh, that's what he said. No permit. He fired it? Yeah, uh, fired it twice inside the store. Then he falls to the mouth side, squeezes off three more rounds, gets one of them on his backside. All right. Notify Central for uh, hospital canvas. Gunshot wounds fit in that description. Okay. Mr. Demopoulos is a good guy, but now he's fired shots in the street, no permit. He's looking at a felony. Oh, so what do you want to do? Let me take care of this. All yours. Mr. Demopoulos. Detective Manor, uh, This is my partner, Detective Jones. Hi. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, when did you get a gun? Last month. How many times do I have to get robbed and not protect myself? And didn't you apply for a permit and get denied? Yes. So I got it from a friend of a friend, and I would do it again. Can the gun be traced back to you? No. You say there were two guys and one gun, right? Yes. Okay, so maybe this is what happened. They come in both with guns. I think I only saw the one. Listen to me. Maybe they both had guns. You lay out the cash. The one guy puts his gun down to grab up the money. You snatch his gun. Am I hearing you right? I got his gun off the counter. It wasn't mine. I never had one. Okay, then. Yeah, thanks. Um, the owner was confused. It wasn't his gun. It wasn't? Wait, just, no. No, he took the gun off the perp. You wrote it down wrong. Got it? Yeah, I, I got it. So he put two guns on the perps instead of one. Mike's a lot better. He should be discharged tomorrow. On an Amador. Okay. You know her? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Why? Have a seat, Lawrence. She's saying Mike was with her last night, which would conflict a little bit him working security with you. What, she come forward or something? No, we broke out a Ouija board. So Mike wasn't with you? 
No. He was with her. You know about her ex, some uh, Dario guy? I'll tell you what. Let me talk to Ona. Just to calm her down. No, I'll tell you what. Quit jerking us off. I'm not, guys. And look, I know this all looks a little weird. Well, Mike's a good guy. And he's been busting his ass up at the 3-4 for 18 years. So did Mike ever bring up his girlfriend's ex, how this guy had it out for him? He mentioned it. So it's a legit angle? Maybe. I don't know. Mike a big drinker? No. So chasing tails is vice? Look, this is going to jam him up big time if it comes out about Ona. What, with the wife and kids, right? Cop shot put up 10 grand for information on this. If someone comes forward and they find out we got our heads in the sand, we all take a hit. I don't know about you, but I don't have any more hits to take. Okay. I got it. Anybody other than uh, Dario jump out as a candidate? With Mike, you never know. He drops down into these moods sometimes, and it could have been over anything. With the wrong guy at the wrong time, I'm just glad he's alive. All right, listen. Don't be talking to your partner until you hear from us. Delray, is it? What do you want? How'd you get that bullet in your ass? Came out of nowhere. Yeah? While you were running away from that bodega on Broom? No, I was walking down Avenue C and it just came out of nowhere. We'll see what the owner says. Who'd you do the stick up with? Yo, I got nothing to say, man. And we're gonna pull your sheet, see who you took cars with in the past, and run everybody's photo for the owner. Now you wait till you pick that of a line if your bargain power is zero. I was cleaning out the register and the old man went nuts. You and your buddy lifted that money with guns in your hands. The gun we had don't even work. That old man's gun sure worked, though. What about him? The owner tells a different story. Yeah, well, he's lying. Well, let a jury decide, then. Last chance to help yourself out, Delray. Tell us who your buddy is. My word don't mean nothing to y'all anyway, so why bother? Suit yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna. He's a caller. Okay, car right over. You know, I've been going through my head, trying to think of something I might have done to put me back in the joint. You want to know what I come up with? No, we give up. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Because I swear when I got out last month, I played straight and I done that. I don't even jaywalk. That's not what we're hearing, Dario. All right, well, now go ahead. I'm ready. I want to hear what the hell people are saying. You know a cop named Mike Dominicelli? Not personally. I know he's boning my ex-old lady. That's the extent. So you get out a month ago looking forward to some front door loving for a change. You find out your wife is banging somebody else. The guess here is that made you a little ill tempered Okay, look, I've been through this drill before. Show me a little respect and tell me what this cop said I did. He's saying that you shot him last night. They shoot him? Well, you made it known to other people that you wanted to kill him. Yeah, well, I talk a lot of trash, okay? And the other people I made it known to, which was obviously my hosebag exo lady owner, she talked trash too. Now, do you guys give a damn about the truth? Or is this a railroad? And do I need to settle in for the ride? We want to know what happened. I don't know what happened, other than it wasn't me. I was spending the night with Ona's sister, Bonita, okay? Yeah, I said it, her sister. And you can tell Ona that, too. Break down Bonita's info. Yeah, well, Bonita ain't gonna want to do this. But you tell her Dario's ass is on the line, and she better step up. Detective? You know, you're here so much, maybe we should uh, clear out a drawer so you can keep a toothbrush or a change of clothes handy or something. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment, but uh, thanks, though. Just looking out. Anything on the shot cop? Uh, yeah, he's going to be all right. We've been busy with a bodega sticker. Oh, you need me? Yeah, one of the perps turned up at Bellevue ER with a bullet in his butt. Bodega owner picked him out of a photo array along with a running buddy of his. The bodega owner shot him? Yeah, apparently he got one of the uh, perp's guns when he laid it down on the counter, followed them outside, shot, and hit one of them. He's been robbed repeatedly. And he's got the right to defend himself. Well, as soon as the perps ran out, he should have put the gun down. Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> looking back, uh, I, I, I should have not worn uh, mutton chop sideburns in high school, but uh, <laughs> it seemed like the right thing to do at the time. We recognize the owner's a little wrong what happened outside the store, but uh, we're just saying, keep in mind he's been robbed five times this past year. I take it he's a friend of yours? He's a good guy. All right, defer the arrest, and uh, we'll let the grand jury decide. So uh, he's looking at a misdemeanor, if anything. If anything, yeah. So we on for tonight? 
Ja. Is there anything on our cop? We got a suspect. Connie's checking his alibi. We got a DOA shot in his apartment over on Broom. Greg, you're up. Dario checks out. What did you say? He was with her last night at her apartment. He left at 9 a.m. No way she's covering for him? Well, she was so freaked out about her sister possibly finding out. I took it as genuine. You come back at Dominic Shelley? Yeah. No, we were waiting on this. Head back to the hospital and hit him up. Yeah, okay. Hey, Diane, uh, maybe you want to come and occupy the wife if she's there? Sure. God, I hate getting involved in this. You want off? Where in that did I say I want it off? Whether we like it or not, we got to investigate the case. Just as aggressive as any other. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. In the future, when I extend an offer for you to drop off a case you're uncomfortable with and you don't want to take me up on it, just say no, I got it. We'll save each other some time. Cool? Now it's going to start. You watch. Where are the fronts? Well, he showed you two fronts out there. We're looking at a little bit of Mike. snow here as far south hey. as, uh, I guess, central Virginia, and even snow here in the uh, Kentucky and into Tennessee. Anything in the purple? Who are we talking about? The carjacker. Your girlfriend came forward. What? Just like I said, she figured it was her ex who shot you. But we looked into that, and he alibied out. My wife went home, right? She ain't outside. Who knows about Ona? Just us. And we're keeping it that way, right? Because she's got nothing to do with me getting shot. Who does? I'm telling you, I got carjacked. Mike, you're a cop who got shot. They're putting together a task force because of it. There's rewards out. It's on the news. The sooner you tell us what happened, the sooner we quit wasting our time chasing lies and start spending it on damage control. I'm telling you, I don't know who shot me. All right, then at least tell us what you were doing on the Lower East Side at 6 a.m. with your damn gun and shield under the seat. Were you with the press? She a regular? You know her? Joya. She black, Puerto Rican, what? Black, junkie. Those days I don't see enough degradation up in the 3-4, stop by Joya. I hit my quota. And you don't know who came up and robbed you? This wasn't no Murphy game she ran. No. I know her. Is this containable, or am I down the drain? We're gonna do what we can, all right? And? He was with the press. Somebody jacked him up in the midst. They don't know. We got a name to go on. He's gonna have some explaining to do when he gets home, huh? Dr. Carreras? Diane. Oh my god, how are you? <laughs> I I'm great. I'm... Wow, it's great to see you. You too. How are you? I'm great, too. Um, what a nice surprise. <laughs> oh, um, this is Danny Sorensen and Andy Sipowitz. This is Dr. Carreras. He was Bobby's doctor. And the only good thing I remember about being here. Yeah, we met. I remember. Hey, uh, we'll get the car. Uh, give me a minute, okay? Yeah. So, uh, things are good, huh? No complaints. You know, I always wanted to get in touch with you and tell you how much it meant to me what you did, how you were there for us, because I don't know if I ever conveyed that. It's funny because I always wanted to call you too and uh, check in, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I know time goes by and well, it's great seeing you. You too. I gotta go. Absolutely. You know, um, maybe we should get coffee sometime or something. That'd be great. I'd love to. Uh, how about dinner? Yeah. How about tonight? It's a date. I don't mean a date. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a card? Sure. Victor. Never even knew your first name. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> Victor, yep. Good, I'll call you. Dinner tonight. That'd be great. I look forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'll see you later then. Great. Called in on the county, didn't answer the phone. Thought we had a natural causes until we got up close. Looks like he took us straight through the window. Standing there, staring outside, he never knew what hit him. Well, it went right through and lodged in the wall right here. ESU did a laser trajectory, came from in front of the bodega. Guess you guys had some activity there this morning? Yeah. Yeah. We got a problem, Greg. Yeah. Those perps off chain of events, they're looking at felony murder no matter what. 
But if we stick with it being their gun, we could be adding 10 years to their sentence. And I ain't doing that, Greg. This Demopolis, he, he's gonna lose everything. Yeah, well, we could too if we don't unring the bell. We gotta get him off that story we laid out. Yeah. Okay. shot your John this morning? I don't know. It was dark and it was quick and plus I felt my life was in danger. She's loaded. We got to her right after tea time. Regular like that, you don't want to help the poor guy out. Wish I could. <laughs> Would if I could. You know the reason this guy's making noise about getting shot with a prostitute? As opposed to any other guy who wouldn't report it out of embarrassment? Oh, hell no. 18 years serving this fine city. And you know what happens when a cop gets shot? All hell breaks loose. This is a cop, Joya. And life will become very difficult for you in the city if you don't help out. Polo. Puerto Rican name Polo. Deals beat bags in the village. Polo, Polo. You know Polo? I do. I'm a Bronx. She ripped off a dealer for a key a couple of years back. You can believe it. I'll go check and see if it's the same guy. If it is, we can get his picture. Is the Murphy game you two ran? No. Me and the John were doing our thing, and Polo run up, and the John reached for the gun, and boom. Write down everything about Polo, and you can stay here while we check it out. Now, me and Polo, we got a history, okay? We did run games on John's before, but not this time. So Polo's probably gonna say you were in on it, right? Right, but he a liar, don't trust his ass. His gun, his finger, all him. Freak. So, uh, yeah, what's going on? Mr. Thermopolis, there was an accident this morning. A man in an apartment across the street from your bodega was shot and killed. Killed? Who? His name was Ben Torres. Oh, my God, Ben. The bullet came from your gun when you fired at those guys who robbed you. We're gonna do everything we can to help you out. No one's blaming you. Everyone's clear this was a freak accident. So what do we do now? We're gonna talk to the DA. In the meantime, you've gotta get yourself a lawyer. Saying it wasn't my gun, does that help me? We're gonna have to go back to the truth. We're gonna have to say it was your gun. There's too much involved to try and go with the other story. The men who robbed your store, they will bear the brunt of the responsibility since all this happened in the act of their felony. Mr. Thermopolis, what I suggested to you this morning about changing the story, it's best if nobody brings that up again. No, I wouldn't do that. I want to see my lawyer now. I'm afraid we, we can't let you go at this point. Uh, you can call from here. What, am I under arrest? We're sorry. I'll get you to central booking in time for night court. You'll make bail and sleep in your own bed. My sister. These animals got hooked on drugs. We got a vigilante here. Move it, Paul. Okay, so I'll get you some names, some bigger dealers. Did you work with me on the gun? That's not our department. Then what's going on here? We're waiting for your fillers. Feelers? What is feelers? The fillers in your lineup. What lineup? Some guy's saying you shot him while he was with the whore in his car. Or some other damn thing. They should be here any minute. I didn't shoot no guy in a car, okay? That's that's ridiculous. You match the description he gave. Plus, the whore says that she recognized you, knew you from the neighborhood. The whore in the car? Yeah. Que tal, Polo? Who's this now? I'm an old friend of Johnny Santos. Who's he? He's the guy you ripped off for a key of coke up in the Bronx. He's the guy currently doing time upstate. He's a guy who wants you dead. Unless we're talking about a different Johnny Santos. Must be. 
Hmm. Johnny's cousin, Big Ray, took over. You remember Big Ray, right? I know he remembers you. Big Ray's in prison, too. Key witness against him mysteriously disappeared. All right, what is this, okay? Is this about a lineup or what? So here's your choice. You can tell us how it was a simple robbery gone bad this morning, and we'll work with you on the statement. Or I give a tip to Big Ray. Let him know Paul was making friends with the boys at the 15th squad. You'll be walking out the door in an hour. The next thing we're all gonna hear are the tires squealing on Big Ray's El Dorado. Your past just caught up with you, Paul. And it's either Big Ray or us. Who's it gonna be? Tengo que pensar esto. No, tú vas a decir ahora, o yo hago la llamada. All right. I tried to rob the guy in the car. He grabbed the gun. He went off accidentally. And it was Joy's idea. Don't believe that bitch. Well, don't be saying that just to get even with her. Her idea. All the way. Good choice, Paulo. So? When did Big Ray get out? I don't know. I heard he did. Maybe I was wrong. I'll go double check. We need to get something straight. By all means, enlighten me. Detectives work the cases. Lieutenants, good lieutenants, let their detectives work. Is it all about turf with you or results? Because I need to know. It's about respect. But you don't seem to be showing me at all. Hey, if you miss the action, go back undercover in narcotics. Till then, you're a lieutenant. Ask around what they do if you don't believe me. I don't give a damn what everybody else does. I'm about results, and I saw an opportunity to get some. That was our interview, and we had it going where we wanted. We were going to drop the fact that Joya put it all on him and let Polo react, but then you had to come in on your white horse and show off your Espanol. I came in because I had a history with that guy. Yeah, I know. You told us earlier, and you should have waited to see if we hit a dead end, at which point you wouldn't have had to come in because we would have come to see you to ask for help. That's fair enough. All right, then. All right. We'll be heading back over to the hospital now, I guess, and we'll keep you posted. Please do. What's up? When that bodega owner was shooting at those perps in the street, one of the bullets went to a nearby apartment and killed a guy. Well, then the perps are on for felony murder. And come to find out it was the owner's gun, not the perps. The owner lied at the scene? Or maybe he knew a cop who uh, tried to help him with his story. He's not uh, liable for the murder, is he? Possible reckless manslaughter. I don't know, but definitely once he took that gun outside his store and fired it, that's criminal possession of a weapon, D felony. So what's he looking at? One to three, six months split, straight probation, it depends. He's got no criminal record, he's a family man. I mean, he's been robbed repeatedly. Those are all in his favor, but I can't say for sure. What, what, what if I were to show up as a good character witness at a sentencing? That, that'd be good, right? Yeah, but the dead man's family might be there, too, if they end up feeling he's responsible. What about the civil liabilities from the DOA's family? What's your hunch about that? Detective, you should ask a civil lawyer. Listen, just write up your report, and we'll talk then. How's it going, Mike? The word shook out. You find Joya? Yeah, we found her. What'd she look like in the daylight? Any better? She gave us the scale she ran the Murphy game with. So Joya did run a game on me? Yeah. You think you know somebody, right? Yeah. Go ahead. I got it coming. Those two, and you parked in the car with her, that's going in the fives. We got no choice on that. Well, that's what I was waiting to hear. No, I heard it. Look, maybe you want to think about some story, how you were trying to turn around as an informant or something. Yeah, I'd slip that one by everybody, no problem. On the other hand, your girlfriend Ona and your kid with her, that ain't going in. The old job will know everything inside 24 hours. What do you got, 18 years? Maybe you vest out of the job and get a side gig until your pension kicks on your 20th. Maybe you beat the rumors to the punch and you sit down with your wife and your family and you come clean. Maybe together you get through this. He doesn't believe what he just said, does he? We came here to tell you the investigation wrapped and what's going in our fives and what ain't. I want it known that I'm sorry for putting my family through this. You'll be all right, Mike. Hey, you could have got killed. Look at it that way. You're feeling overwhelmed right now, but it's not as big as you're making it. You're right. I'll be fine. 
I should just leave me alone so I can get some sleep. We're gonna go make a call. Stay in his room and don't leave this guy alone. What's going on? Just do it. I don't like where his head's at. I'm calling early intervention. Yeah? Uh, things people are saying about him, what he just said in there. I don't give a damn, I'm calling. I've never done this before. He told me to come get you guys. He wants to talk to you again. Did I not just tell you to stay in his room? He didn't want me to announce it. Mike! Mike! Oh, my God. gonna happen either way. This isn't on you. Can we get him covered up here? Thanks. Seen a fussing down a toilet. Well, that's changed. Because the shots on the fight off in the street. One of them hit an apartment across the street and ended up killing somebody. Oh, man. So the story we helped the owner out with, well, that came back around and almost bit us in the ass. So we're going back to the truth. It being the owner's gun. Now, owner's clear on it. D is clear. Everybody's clear. Now you're clear, too. Yes, sir. I haven't told nobody nothing, and it'll stay that way. When do you graduate from the academy? Two weeks. What are you aiming for? Detective. Well, you learn today what every cop eventually gets hit to. When you leave the academy, you leave the manual behind, and you make your own decisions. And if you want, when you want, you can change things, reshape things, let some things go. You can... Well, you can lie. And good cops try and do it only to help somebody out they feel deserves it. But it's still lying. What me and my partner did today, what we tried to do, was lie to help that store owner on account of him getting robbed blind since he opened up shop. And we wish we never had to do it. But life's not always that simple. I understand. Good. Come around. So you look me up if you need me, okay? I'll do that. We're so sorry for what happened. I'll never forgive myself. You had nothing to do with this. Yes, I did. He was manic depressive. He saw a psychiatrist outside work. He didn't want the job to know because they put him on the rubber gun squad. He said being a cop on the street was sometimes the only thing that kept him from losing it. I should have called someone. I had the phone in my hand. I don't know how many times. We know you're in shock right now, Grace. And we know you're going through the most horrendous thing anyone can. But we have to talk about something that you need to keep in mind down the road. You have to know, and we have to tell you now. OK. You're going to hear a lot of things from a lot of people. And one of the things you're going to hear is how you should sue the department or the hospital. And lawyers are going to approach you and push for that. I already got a call from one. This conversation isn't about whether you should or shouldn't. What you need to know is, if you do, <laughs> things are going to come out regarding a part of Mike's life you may not want to hear about. Things you may not want the kids to hear. We can keep most of this out of the papers, but if you sue, It'll all come out. Like another woman? Things like that, yeah. <laughs> we had to tell you this so you don't get blindsided down the road. <laughs> How'd she take it? Good as could be expected, I guess. She's not ready to walk out. Connie's gonna take her home when she is. I gotta go. Yeah, go. We got this. Oh, hi. Hi. I was gonna meet you downstairs. The officer at the desk said to come up. Oh, okay. You want me to wait back downstairs? No, no, no. I'm ready. All right, guys. Night, Diane. Good night. 
Bobby's doctor. Yeah, that's what she said. Listen, um, about today, uh, you know Greg knew the owner, so if he was a little aggressive in pitching his case, well, that's why. Baldwin, as much as I don't like to talk about personal stuff at work, I'd rather not talk about work when we're out. <laughs> Come on, I brought it up, what, maybe twice? The only way I can do this is if we make it its own separate thing. Inside info, rehashing cases, I can't do it because then I'll feel I'm, I'm compromising my job and it's too important to me. Obviously. I want to share the good things other than work with you. And there's a lot else to enjoy. Let's share that. If your big thing is leaving work at work, and why you still got to try and dictate terms when we're outside of it and not just let it happen. Can you share the good things with me? Hmm. Yeah. I can do that. Then let's do it. And no more terms. this guy's superpowers? He can fly and be invisible. Yeah, huh? How about that one? I haven't decided yet. Or I can walk right over you. Yeah, you can. You can't you beep. So, you like having Aunt Katie around more? I like when she's here. Yeah? I can't watch cartoons unless I do my reading first. That's good. That that's discipline. Uh, you gotta have that or else uh, you watch cartoons all the time and your brain turns to mush. Cartoons don't make your brain turn to mush. But you like Aunt Katie being around. I miss her when she's not around. How's he doing? Yeah, I just broke out the superheroes. He should be getting to bed soon. Yeah. So, don't we spend the night tonight? Maybe you should just move in. Just drop everything and move in? You're good for Theo. You're good for me. We're good for you, right? Yes, of course. So move in. We'll make a family and uh, we'll raise the all right. And I'm what? Your girlfriend? Your roommate, but we share the same bed? No, I, I want you to be comfortable, you know, whatever you need to be comfortable because uh, this would be your place too. Well, if I move in and we make a family, Andy, I want it to be official. I need that to be comfortable. Okay. We can do that. Do you mean it? Yeah. So we get married? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'd like that, Andy, very much. <laughs> <laughs> 